This tutorial explains how to fix the error message subscript out of bounds in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example on how to reproduce and how to fix this error message in R. And this example is based on the matrix that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called MyMet. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our matrix contains four rows and five columns. Now, if we want to subset certain values of this matrix, then we can use square brackets, as you can see in line five of the code. So in this line of code, I want to extract the third row of our matrix object, and I want to extract all columns of this row. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that the values corresponding to the third row have been returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. However, if we want to extract a row that is not existing in our matrix, then the error message subscript out of bounds is returned, as you can see by running line seven of the code. Because in this line of code, I'm specifying that I want to extract the 10th row of our data set. However, our data set contains only four rows. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that an error message is returned, which says subscript out of bounds. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.